Okay, so Pi News episode four. Um, this has come a bit earlier than I thought it would, but uh, the reason being is there's a Raspberry Pi Humble Book Bundle available. Uh, and this is, uh, money goes to charity on some of this. Have a read through all of it, but I've done Humble Bundle on games before. I'm just gonna switch. You can see it's all jerky. Uh, if I uh, close that one down and go to Chromium, you see it's lovely and smooth. But I prefer to use Firefox for, for things like this just because Firefox is better, uh, is faster at, at opening things and sort of switching through tabs and things. But when you see that, that is really nice uh, and lovely and smooth. So let's scroll down. Um, so there's all sorts of things on here, but the minimum you pay is, is 79p. Uh, I, don't, I didn't quite, I need to look through it properly, but Free Raspberry Pi Zero only comes with 12 month subscription, so it looks like there is a way of getting that maybe. 20% discount on anything in the Raspberry Pi Press Store, 15% off select subscriptions, and there's all sorts of books. So if you're interested in reading up on the Raspberry Pi, now the Magpie magazines are all free uh, and they come through, yeah, under the, under the bookshelf, you can download the uh, Magpie magazines and also some of the books actually as well. So I don't know how much extra you get from having that, but have a look through it and see uh, if it's something that you would like. Uh, so if I go back to that, uh, yeah, have a look through and see if there's extra in there. So you can also, with Humble Bundles, you can also pay a bit more uh, and open up some more and then pay 12 pound or more to unlock extras and generally they're always very good value for money and humble bundle do donate to charity as well so it's uh, it's worth having a look but it's four days to go uh what is it now it is the 6th thursday the 6th of august so uh you want to get in there quickly if you want that bundle so let's close down chromium and i'll just continue with firefox i don't need that open anymore either so next up is this 128 gig retro pie sd card that showed off on facebook I'm sure it's not real, uh, and certainly looking through the comments, people are saying that it's a fake card. There are loads of fake SD cards and USB sticks online. Personally, I bought from Wish.com a supposedly two terabyte USB stick, uh, which I did a video on. So I did a search uh, for RetroPie SD on Wish.com, and uh, funnily enough, the other day I did a search, and loads of them came up. There was, there was a massive amount of, uh, of cards to choose from. And uh, just, I was just doing it for interest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them because uh, I would be sure that they'd be a fake SD card and so performance would be bad. Um, and the only one now showing up is this uh, 117,000 RetroPie games, £39. But uh, there were lots of uh, branded RetroPie cards and I wonder if they've now stamped, at, stamped it out already. Let's just quickly check eBay and see what they're showing. So years ago on eBay, you used to be able to buy uh, CD-ROMs and DVDs full of. Oh, there you go. So these are so eBay's full of them. Look, so RetroPie, uh, RetroPie, and there's all these branded cards and things. I wonder if I can find one with that RetroPie screen printing on it because that looks quite cool. So anyway, I'm not I'm not suggesting people buy this. Um, obviously. Uh, you don't know what you're buying when you're buying SD cards from eBay uh, and also from Wish.com. I just thought it was interesting. It's uh, it's come around again and it had disappeared because uh, certainly when you used to be able to buy whole ROM packs uh, on on eBay, they all got taken down and uh, I'm surprised these haven't got taken down yet. But uh, it looks like Wish.com are on top of it. That was, that's interesting. Right, so next up, uh, the I've been looking at the Crow Pi 2, uh, which is uh, a Kickstarter project, uh, which is like a laptop, and uh, you can see all the maker stuff inside of it. It's an 11.6 inch laptop, and you put a Raspberry Pi 4 into it. You've got this wireless keyboard, which also uh, fits back in there. It's a really nicely designed product, um, and I was having a look at it, and they're still available. Uh, what is there, 226 left of 500. I'm tempted to bite the bullet on it, although I 11.6 is, I've had an 11.6 laptop before and I didn't particularly like it as a size. I prefer more the sort of 13.3 or 14 inch laptop. So the size was putting me off, but also I don't need any of the maker stuff. Uh, I don't really 
go down that route with the pie. I know it's very popular. I know people love it, um, but uh, but it's not really my kind of thing. So I'm still thinking about it. Um, and so, funny enough, I was I was only looking at it yesterday, uh, and then I thought, right, I'll just have a look on on YouTube and see if anything's happened. And there was already a video uh, that came out yesterday, uh, and this guy has covered it. What's it called? Chris Titus Tech. Uh, it's a big channel, so uh, I, I'm sure a lot of you probably know it already. But uh, he goes through it and he does a really good uh, in-depth review of it and shows it up. Now, if you are unsure if it's for you and you want to have a look at the software, I did see uh, somewhere in the video he shows the download link. I was trying to find to download the software because I might I might do a video on the on the Crow Pi 2 software. Uh, and so I'll put a link in the description, but you can download uh, the image here and try it on your Pi. You don't need a Crow Pi to be able to use it. So you've got Scratch lessons in there, Crow Pi lessons, all sorts of information. It also looks like it's a standard version of Raspberry Pi OS as well. So have a look at that if you want to try it out. And if you're really interested, obviously jump on the Kickstarter. I think with shipping, it was going to come out at about £160. It would be interesting for me to have something like this because... I'm often switching between pies and so I'm often unplugging and plugging in and uh, if I want to overclock or do various things I'll use a, a different operating system and I could have this one just beside me uh, and, I, and I quite like the idea of that although I'm not sure if I like the idea of the 11.6. Next up I didn't mention in my previous uh, news that Seed also uh, when I did my order I also ordered a case because you don't see many cases for these uh, super big fans. This is the case I've got coming, uh, which is 695, uh, which is also being given to me by Seed because I got a voucher from them to buy uh, the, the other two bits. And uh, I just thought it'd be nice to have. You often see the fans just on a pie or loose, whereas with this, uh, it's got a base to it. Uh, and it also is going to be a bit more structurally rigid because it's got that case surrounding on it. But I also got shown this one. Uh, in my comments and this is a 3D printable one uh, and you can see that it fully encloses the fan so you can see the fan behind it this fully encloses it you've still got access to everything um, but yeah it is it is 3D printed so if we flick through and I thought it looked pretty decent and I don't, I don't really do a lot of 3D printing, or I don't do any 3D printing, but I know that a lot of my subscribers do. So have a look at that if you've got one of those uh, cooler towers and you want to be able to enclose it. I've also been reached out to by 52Pi, so another couple of cases coming my way. So this is the armour case, which has got like an aluminium base on it, aluminium top, and also two fans, which is uh, designed to be super quiet. So I'll be interested to try that. But the other one that they offered me, uh, and again, this is coming free, they, they reached out and said, would I like to review it and try it? And I thought it was relevant for my channel, so I've said yes, please. Uh, so, And these are on the way. So this rack tower uh, is, uh, is really interesting. This has got a big fan with LEDs on it. And uh, what interested me most was there is a picture which shows it with hard disk. Yeah, so this interested me more. So I'm not so much into doing the uh, the stack with all the pies working together, I was more interested in having this as a usable, almost like a tower for a Raspberry Pi. But uh, if I can affix various different things on it, so like hard disks, I thought that was an interesting way of doing it. And then you've got this fan blowing through it, keeping it cool. You can see you've got this carry handle. So that's coming my way. Uh, it looks like I've got to build it up. Uh, there you go, there's the kit to build it up, so it does look very interesting. And I've ordered a uh, little micro SD extender, I might do a separate video on that, um, and do some speed checks on it, but basically, when I looked at this, it looked like how you're gonna get a micro SD card into it. Now obviously you can use USB, so it's not too much of an issue there, uh, but I often use a micro SD card for different things, so I wanted access to that, but all I could do is have a cable coming out of the Pi and then uh, being affixed somewhere on this structure so I can then pop an SD card into that. Anyway, that will be coming up in a video in the future. Uh, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.